So, before you watch this video, do not attempt to do this if you're not confident to do it. I would hate to be the reason anyone falls off their roof. I know you've, you, you're you sensible, you're all sensible, and there's no way you're gonna do stupid things that I do. You know, I feel confident in doing it. I used to work on a building site, so I've been on roofs and I've, you know, I've, I've, I've done heights. I don't like them, but I've done them. So, obviously, if you've got the money, it's easier just to get someone to do it. Um, for me, it's easier for me to get up there and do it. I'm confident doing it. So please, if you are not confident, get a proper tradesman to get up and do your stuff. You, you're better off paying the money than, than your life's worth more than that. Um, just a little to do not try this at home. Um, yeah, enjoy the video. Morning everybody. We are on Saturday, Saturday Night Live tonight. Don't miss it, be there, 7.30. Just about to get up the ladder, onto my garage, and then onto my roof, because today's job is clearing out the gutters. This one up here. Hang on, let me turn the camera around, it's easier. Let's see if we can zoom in. There's a garden growing out my gutters. So, I've done them, I think, I think last year and yeah every year we get a garden growing in and it just pours down so my job for today while it's nice I mean there's a lot of people saying it's really windy where they are today but we've got not too bad conditions so I'm going to get up there now and crack on well, it looks like we've got seagulls on the roof and on that patch there that means they're probably nesting so I'm going to have to sort that out as well because if they nest they just come back and every year and just nest and cause havoc with the roofs. But they're not nesting because usually that's where they nest. Although it looks like they've had the bits upside down and try to pull them out. But that's the sea there. That's how close we live to the sea the sea there and the calf I showed you the other day is just literally there it's just that building there right in front is the little calf and it's like a sea sea sports place as well I'm not overly keen on it although I've done my neighbours uh, pest seagull spikes for them so I've got the greatest on heights as you can see, I've got a garden there. That's quite filled up, that one. That's quite bad. And then we've got... So these ones here are okay. Just do a quick inspection. So them ones are alright. I can get to them from the extension anyway. I just need to have a look over the other side. I hope this isn't making anyone feel too sick. <laughs> Noisy. But yeah, that's how far we live from the sea. Obviously you can see the beach huts. I've got friends that's got one of the beach huts. This is where we're all docked around. And there's a, a nine hole uh, golf course. There. Not like a mini golf course. Not a mini golf, but just a small golf course, nine holes. Knock, knock a few balls in. But yeah, you have to be careful. Let's have a look what we've got going on this side. See what I mean? Look at all that dirt in there. That's quite bad. See the grass growing in there as well. And that's all the way along. So I'm going to get something to clean that out. So yeah, so we've got quite a bit of work to do up here. I don't even think I've got a bit. I don't think I've got, I know I have. I've got a bit of 
almost had them. Nah, no, these ones are alright. That side's okay. Not bothered about that little bit. So, got that bit there. And the whole length of the roof the other side. In the gut of the other side of that bit. Whew. I better get on and get started. Can't stand up here admiring the view all day. Speak to you in a bit. This is how it's coming out. It's coming out like a proper bit of turf with all the roots and everything. So you need to check your gutters or get some get your gutters checked. Because if you get all that lot in there it starts blocking it and overflowing. So like I say I've got quite a bit of a job. I'm gonna get all the big grassy bits out and then see if I can find a paper scraper, decorating scraper and scrape all the dirt up into a pile and get that out too. So that's all the big clumps out, but there's quite a lot of weight there. So now, just get, get, get the scrapings out of there. Get, that was the worst bit there, that was where all the weight was, and it was making the water flow over. So I get those bits out, just clean the other, clean the other channel out, and then that's it. Fine job done, and £150 saved, because that's what someone wanted to do it they wanted 150 quid and I said to my wife we're not paying 150 quid I'll get up there and do it I'm not bothered about getting up on the roof and if I fall the mortgage gets paid <laughs> but still um yeah so I'm gonna crack on get these channels I've got to go and find a tool first try and get something to scrape them all out we've get them scrapes up get it out and get down that's all I need so I'm gonna go and get this done, scrape it all up, bring the bag down, because I'm gonna leave my phone down here now just in case it gets broke. Hello. 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 What? No. Yeah, I'm gonna go and get this done. I'll speak to you in a bit. Right, so as you can see, I've cleaned out the channel thus far, which isn't bad, I've got the thing there. Where's the tool? Where's the tool? What? Oh, here it is. But if you look, for the flat, just sit down so I don't fall down. For the flat one, this is, let me hold, hang on. Hang on guys, because we don't want no accidents up here. So this, is the ideal size for this size channeling because I've cleaned that bit out there. It's perfect. So I've just got this little bit to do here and then the other side over the other side of the roof. But obviously if you're gonna do um, a curved guttering then obviously you'll have to get a trail, like a gardening trail. But yeah. Saved 150 quid by doing it myself. I think my time, I suppose I've been up here, by the time I finish it, it'll be a couple of hours. I think my time's easily worth 75 quid an hour. It's worth more than that, but it's worth at least that. So yeah, I'm gonna crack on, get this finished, and then I'll show you how much rubbish, how much dirt and grass and stuff I've taken out of the gutters. So the wind's starting to get up a little bit now. So um, I'm gonna quickly do that run down there. Here, and then get down because it is starting to get a bit too windy for my liking. So I've done that lot. Just that lot to go. It's just windy up here. My wife just said to me, "Can you wash the gutters while you're up there?" Is it how am I supposed to do that? I'd have to lean on, lay down on the edge and lean, and be scrubbing. And like, what if I roll off the edge? <laughs> Jesus. Perhaps he does want the life insurance. There you go. It's getting really windy up here now. And this bag... It's very heavy, so I'm going to weigh it. And we'll see how much stuff we've got out. Oh, 
to attempt to get down now because it is quite windy. Hopefully speech will in a bit. Just under 12 kilos. Just under 12 kilos of stuff on that roof. It's crazy. Thanks for watching.